Hi everyone, welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. I'm Kate Bonnie, and I'd like to introduce you to Beta. Beta is a two-year-old Husky German Shepherd mix and a current resident of the Bibb County Animal Shelter located in Brent, Alabama. Beta is simply the name the shelter uses to identify her. Before we delve into Beta's story, I want to say up front, she is the most well-behaved, well-mannered dog that I have had the pleasure to groom. She was initially fearful of the hose, but she looked to me for guidance and leadership, as a good dog should. Once I got her soaked down, I gave her a thorough shampoo using veterinary care formula flea and tick shampoo. This is available at most Walmart stores. I followed that up by using fluff off de-shedding conditioner from girlwiththedogs.com. So now it's time to tell you Beta's story. Sadly, Beta is an owner surrender. She began her life with a family who owned chickens. Now Huskies are very intelligent dogs and they also have a strong prey drive. One day Beta got loose and attacked the chickens. The owner threatened to shoot and kill this beautiful girl. So a kind-hearted neighbor stepped forward and offered to take Beta. Beta lived peacefully with her new owner and other animals, including a potbelly pig. Until one day in the spring, the landlord's dog came over into the new owner's yard and behaved aggressively towards Beta. The landlord told her that she had to get rid of Beta or move out. Faced with losing Beta or losing her home, she made the very difficult choice to surrender Beta. So on April 18th, she brought Beta to the animal control facility, signed the necessary papers, and said a very tearful goodbye. She did not even give Beta's actual name, which of course she's already had to. Beta is now her third name. And whatever kind soul chooses to adopt this girl can absolutely choose yet another new name for her to match a new life. After a good shampooing and conditioning, I rinsed her off and dried her with a fluffy beach towel. Thanks so much for stopping by today and watching this video. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to Kate Bonnie Country. I am currently donating my time, my tools, and my personal grooming supplies in order to help these sheltered dogs. Your support of Kate Bonnie Country is so very important to me and the growth of this channel. I am nearing 100 subscribers and I would love to see that 100 subscriber mark and go beyond by June 30th. Please give the algorithm a boost by going to the comments and typing in the words, good girl. Engaging in the comments feeds the algorithm so my videos go out to more people and we can get more support to help these dogs. Now it is time to brush her out and thoroughly groom her. I began by placing the happy hoodie on her head. A happy hoodie dampens the sound of the dryer and can provide comfort to a nervous animal. I have attached the hose of my one and a half gallon portable shop vac to the vent in order to use it as an improvised forced air dryer. Beta was a little nervous at first, but once again she looked to me for guidance and trusted me not to hurt her. The vast majority of dogs, especially huskies, strongly object to a blow dry. Most huskies will very vocally register their objections. As you can see, Beta waited patiently, followed my lead, and was so exceptionally well behaved. Once she was well dried, I started brushing her coat. I used multiple slicker brushes in various sizes on different areas of her body. I found zero matting. Her second owner did a very good job at maintaining her coat. All I had to do was get rid of some loose fur and I will admit she loved the attention and I didn't want to stop brushing her. 
However, overbrushing a dog, especially with a slicker brush, can cause irritation of the skin that is known as brush burn. I didn't want to hurt her, so I paused, sprayed her down with some Fleantic spray to give her about a week's worth of protection. Then I swapped over to a boar's hair brush, which is much gentler on the skin, just so I could continue to groom her and show her the affection that she so greatly craved. I had one more dog that required my attention this day, so I did have to wrap it up. As I previously mentioned, her second owner did an amazing job at maintaining this girl's coat. I did not have to use the clippers anywhere on her except for her fuzzy butt. The hair was starting to get a little too long, which means that poop could get stuck. That of course would lead to skin irritation and health problems. Finally, I inspected her nails, saw that they were in good shape, and only needed a touch-up grinding here and there. The sound of the grinder bothered her a bit, so I gave her a moment to sniff at and inspect the grinder before continuing. And she sat there just like a perfect little lady and let me grind those few nails that needed attention. I am so proud of her previous owner for taking such good care of her nails. The Bibb County Animal Shelter is currently supported by individual volunteers and donors. Here are three ways you can help. First, visit www.walmart.com, go to the Services tab, scroll down until you see Find a Registry, choose any occasion, type in Bib Co. Al Shelter. Choose Alabama and click Find Registry. You can choose to purchase any item on this list and have it shipped directly to the animal shelter. Additionally, the Veterinary Hospital of Centerville provides services to the shelter dogs on an account. You can call their office and make a monetary donation to the Friends of the Bibb County Animal Shelter. There is currently an active balance on this account, so all donations are greatly appreciated. Of course, you can always reach out to me by sending an email to katebonnie20 at gmail.com. That email address is also set up to accept PayPal donations. Please remember to add a note stating that this is a donation to go towards the animal shelter. Look at all that fluff. That was just shed hair that needed to be brushed out. Huskies really do need daily grooming. I still had one more dog that needed my attention, so I very reluctantly had to say goodbye to Miss Beta. Doesn't she look wonderful? She is the sweetest, most well-behaved dog I have had the pleasure of grooming. I truly hope she finds her forever home very soon.